Hi everyone, good morning. Today, I want to talk about how high schoolers can actually be engaged in AI and apps through extracurriculars. My name is Tianyi Huang, and I'm a rising senior at American High School in Fremont, California, and I founded the Apping Club in 2022, which is two years ago, and now we have 500 plus members, and we're also partnered with Apping Mentor Foundation, and I stand here as their first ever student ambassador. In this day and age, AI literacy has become a very essential skill that everyone needs to be equipped to just really survive and be able to thrive in this like, environment and age. And in schools, we barely see any AI courses or curriculums being implemented. I do not see any AI course in my high school or my friend's high school or in our club members, which for example, we have students from North Carolina, we have students from Arkansas, students even from the Philippines, and even Luxembourg, which is very surprising. <laughs> and for some, they do not have the resources or access to the internet that we're also privileged to have. So what I aim to achieve with Apping Club is that I want to provide an opportunity, an opportunity where anyone, regardless of their age, regardless of their location, can join. And they're able to get immediate free access to leading information that they will need for AI and apps. And in my research paper and my study, I aim to show you guys the blueprint of how you guys can make your own apping club, whether it's making a chapter club for us or making your own club, regardless of how you're gonna brand it. So in our club, oh, yeah, in our club, we like to engage and categorize our members into three categories when they join. One, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And how we do this is that once they join, they do a very starter survey, and then we'll evaluate their skill from that point. And the purpose of this is for us to have a better understanding of their skill set and placing them in different courses that we offer. So they have a more personalized experience rather than just, oh, we have these courses, and you're going to have to try to just, oh, learn, learn this, right? <laughs> and aside from that, we also have this circle, cycle, where when a person, when like a new member joins, they will learn in our club, and then they, once they're com competent enough, they will compete in competitions, and finally, once they're done with that, they can come back and teach other new members, which they can also get volunteer service hours for. Uh, in terms of our event strategy, we mainly have seasonal crash courses, monthly workshops, competition training camps, and these lectures and conferences and opportunities like this to provide students an opportunity to really be engaged in the AI world, be really engaged to be able to see what the industry is actually doing. Some of our past recent events include the UI design course, which was held right after July 4th. Uh, this App Innovator Summer Camp, which is actually occurring right now. So you guys can feel free to check it out this weekend on Sunday. And before that, we had the GIA Summit, which is an in-person summit that we hosted the K-12 initiative that attracted 4,000 in-person attendees. So, and due to time constraints, I'll just like run down these slides really quickly. So first of all, our organizational structure. Here's our officers and executive structure. And regarding our engagement strategy, we mainly use Discord, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And why Discord? Because students love Discord. In fact, uh, let's look at this. We have 577 registered members on our website and 408 members in our Discord server, meaning that 70% of the students across the world were able to join our Discord server. So yeah. And next. Our impact. So since funding on November 6, 2022, we have amassed, as I said, this amount of members, and our impact extends to 10 countries, including the following. Our gender distribution is actually fairly decent because we have 33.7% who are girls, 62.43% who are boys, and the rest are currently unidentified. And our median age is 15, meaning that most of the students that join are high schoolers, which is exactly as well we expect. And they win in competitions after our programs. They will win competitions such as ISEF, MIT Summer App Song, the Congressional App Challenge, and et cetera. Now, no. now regarding our lessons learned. So this is what I have concluded after running the club for two years. And I realized that in, our, in the main six points I have summarized, I felt like the most interesting ones is one, the importance of having courses that actually fit what the students want, instead of what we want to teach them. It's very important for us to understand what the students actually want, 
not just, oh, I want to teach him about AI, so let me just get this high-level course on AI, which no one's gonna want to learn, because students are interested in courses that they can understand, not courses that the teachers or us may want to intend them to learn, because students may not learn at the same pace. And also, uh, a lot of the members at first, after they joined, they had no idea how or what they should do after joining, so make sure that you establish a very clear framework on what they should do after you join the club. And now, uh, as I run out of time, thank you for listening, and feel free to reach out to me at appymanifoundation.org, and, or you can just find me as I walk off the stage. So yeah, have a good day. <laughs>